I've been on top of the world. This shit ain't nothing. Lil Uzi Vert has quickly become one of today's most streamed rappers and has amassed a huge following worldwide. He has become extremely successful musically and, in turn, financially. He has been in the rap game for just over a decade now and, in this time, has collaborated with some of the biggest names in rap, including The Migos, Future, The Weeknd, Travis Scott, ASAP, Ferg, Lil Wayne, and Juice World. Not only is he a talented artist, but he also knows how to grab the attention of the public with his unique personality and personality personal beliefs. He often shocks his fans with his different ventures, both musically and personally. In today's video, we are going to cover multiple interesting facts you may not know about Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert's biggest inspiration? When Lil Uzi was just a teenager, he had a huge appreciation for the iconic Marilyn Manson. He discovered Manson after watching an episode of Celebrity Deathmatch, which featured on MTV. The match was between Marilyn Manson and singer Ricky Martin. Following this, Uzi became an instant fan and continued to follow and become inspired by Manson's work. He could constantly listen to Manson on repeat and later revealed that his favorite album was Mechanical Animals. Once he became famous, his love for Marilyn Manson did not fade. He even purchased a replica of Marilyn Manson's chain, which cost him a hefty $220,000. The chain, which is also combined with a pendant, has over 16,000 diamonds and 155 carats. You can tell just how deep his love for Manson goes and has continued throughout adolescence into adulthood purpose for his face tattoos. As many fans are already aware of, Lil Uzi Vert has multiple face tattoos. He received his first ever facial tattoo at the ripe age of 18, which read, Faith, a constant reminder to continue on with his dream of becoming a rapper despite being broken homeless at the time. But what many people don't know is that the reason Uzi has so many face tattoos is so he wouldn't get hired for a job again. You may be thinking why he would want to be broke, homeless, and jobless. Well, he did this so that he was forced to focus solely on his rap career, which inevitably worked out as he is now an incredibly successful artist. Lil Uzi's first rap CD. Uzi was given his very first rap CD by his grandmother. Receiving this CD at a young age sparked something inside of Uzi and helped reinforce that drive and passion he had for music. The CD he was given was by the Ying Yang Twins, whom Uzi grew up listening to and idolizing, alongside fellow iconic artists such as Wiz Khalifa, Meek Mill, and Mike Jones. Lil Uzi is a massive anime fan. Although he may not look like your typical anime consuming individual, the rapper is most definitely an avid anime fan. At first, like many, he didn't understand the appeal and found it to be quite weird. But soon after, he quickly fell in love with it after watching Adult Swim and learning about the genre, more about delving into it with his former girlfriend, Brittany Bird. Lil Uzi is a Katy Perry fan. What you may not know about Uzi is that he is very much a Katy Perry fan and claims that he would love to collaborate with her someday in the future. I am sure fans around the world of both artists would be very interested to see what kind of music they would create together. Lil Uzi's best friend. Unlike most hardcore rappers, Lil Uzi considers his grandmother to be his true best friend. Lil Uzi claims that his grandmother has been his number one supporter from day one and never doubted his ability to become a world famous rapper. She knew he had the potential to make great music from the very beginning, even while he was homeless and jobless living on the street. Since becoming a famous artist, Lil Uzi has bought her a very nice home in the suburbs of Philadelphia. We assume as a thank you for everything she has done for him and for constantly encouraging him to chase his dreams. Rap stars featured on Lil Uzi track. One of Uzi's breakout albums was Love Is Rage, which ultimately catapulted him into the public eye and kickstarted his career as a rapper. Not only was this album a huge success alone, but it also featured some huge names, including Young Thug and Wiz Khalifa. This must have been truly full circle for Uzi as he had long admired and looked up to Wiz Khalifa as a kid who was trying to make a name for himself. Khalifa is one of the reasons Uzi fell in love with rap and decided to pursue a career in the industry. Lil Uzi and Britney Bird. When Lil Uzi first burst into the public eye, he was dating a girl named Britney Bird. At the time, Britney was a fashion school student. The pair continued to fall in love and became extremely close. Britney would become the muse for many of Lil Uzi's tracks and not in a vague way. He would specifically mention her by name and she would even become the inspiration for the cover of Lil Uzi Vert versus The World where a little pink haired girl lay on top of a cartoon Uzi's head. She even made an appearance 
appearance in Uzi's Money Longer music video, where the couple are both seen wearing matching pink hair. Sadly, only a year later, the pair called it quits, with Uzi revealing the news and details surrounding the split on his track, Stole Your Love. Although the pair are no longer together, it seems like they have nothing but love for each other. Platonic now, of course. Britney can be seen promoting and congratulating her ex on the release of his album, Eternal A Take. Lil Uzi Vert's stage name. As you can probably already gather, Lil Uzi Vert is not his real name. Lil Uzi was born Samir Bizzle Woods and went by his real name for the majority of his adolescence until he began to take his rap career very seriously as he literally had nothing left to his name. This name originated from his unique style of rapping. He originally rapped under the name Vert, short for vertical, but later told Vibe Magazine in an interview that someone had commented on how fast he raps, so he decided to lengthen his rap name to the now iconic Lil Luzi Vert. In the interview, he stated, some guy was just like, you rap fast, man, like a little machine gun. Lil Luzi swearing off drugs in 2017. Following the extremely tragic death of fellow rapper Lil Peep, Lil Luzi vowed to stay off drugs and tried to stay clean. Lil Peep unfortunately died from a drug overdose at the young age of 21. He was meant to perform that night in Arizona. However, he would never make it. Authorities believe he overdosed on the popular anti-anxiety medication Xanax, a drug many rappers take and rave about within their music. When news broke of Lil Peep's passing, Lil Uzi was one of the many artists to pay tribute to the young rapper. Uzi took to Twitter saying, we would love to stop, but do you really care? Cause we've been on Xanax all year. Uzi wrote Thursday, November 16th, rest in peace, buddy. I 100% understand and I don't fault you. Later that night, Uzi tweeted out claiming that he was trying to get off drugs himself. Supposedly the ones that allegedly took Lil Peep's life. Sober today, I have been shaking. I have been cursing my loved ones out and fighting in the studio with no thoughts in my head. Teeth biting down because I just want to be angry at something, he said, adding, maybe I will just smoke weed tonight. This was back in 2017, and we cannot be sure if Uzi has stuck to his word or he has since gone back into taking prescription drugs. He has a pink diamond attached to his forehead. Okay, this fact you may be aware of, as it happened very recently and had a lot of people talking. On the 3rd of February, 2021, Uzi took to Instagram to share an odd video of himself. This video showed Uzi with a large pink diamond that appeared to be embedded into his skin with the caption, beauty is pain. The rapper had purchased a $24 million pink diamond and had it affixed to his forehead. This new addition to his appearance shocked many fans, but many were not surprised. When Uzi elaborated more about the pink diamond that was now attached to his forehead, he claimed he had been paying for this diamond since 2017, taking roughly four years for him to pay off the incredibly beautiful pink diamond. The stone is said to be somewhere between 10 and 11 carats. On Twitter, many fans were questioning his choice and were not massive fans of his new facial accessory. One fan told Uzi he should have put the diamond in a ring, not his face. He responded with, if I lose the ring, yeah, you will make fun of me more than putting it in my forehead. And yes, I do have insurance. While other fans were quick to point out that the diamond appeared to be off center, Uzi quickly responded with, it's in the middle. He said, I just got a long bar in it because I just got it pierced. When the swelling goes down, I'll get a short bar so it won't move. Y'all keep talking about it off because I got a long bar in it so it can't move because of the swelling. When it goes down, it gonna be right though. No matter what your opinion is on his new bling, you have to admit that Uzi knows how to get people talking about him and, if anything, that was a great marketing strategy to get people talking about him. And there you have it. A few interesting facts you may not have known about the world famous rapper Lil Uzi Vert. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss any of our uploads.